Oh, hi there. Welcome to the mischief. I'm Valen, and you've kind of interrupted me while I was taking a bath. Hold on one second. There we go. That's a little bit better. Now, let me get on out of here. All right. So, yeah, you'd think that I would be doing some witchery brews today, but we're not. Instead, we're doing something a little bit more magical. That's right. We are going to be working on the Rite of Manifestation. So, for those unfamiliar with the right of manifestation. That's right, I, I just like saying it. it it's, it's really cool. Uh, as it says here, you will manifest as a ghost from the spirit world in the overworld. Uh, so you have to go into the spirit world to get back to the overworld as a ghost. Um, yeah, uh, that that's pretty much how it goes. Now, there are a lot of ingredients involved in this. And luckily for you, you don't have to actually do the, uh, like, make them in the spirit realm. But... One of the ingredients that you might need later on will be. So, allow me to first demonstrate. Now, uh, I have a little base set up already in the spirit realm. Let's uh, see if I get lucky enough that I will be uh, getting a good dream and not a bad dream. Oh, it's a bad dream. That's that's no good. If you get a bad dream, well, it, it's not necessarily a bad thing. There we go. There's our friend, the nightmare. Uh, so, by killing killing this guy, which may take some time, especially... As you see here, it, it he's kind of intangible. Uh, anyway, uh, it may take quite some time to kill him. But if you do, there is a good benefit from it. There we go. Besides that noise and the fact that he disappears for at least a few seconds, you can pick up mellifluous hunger, which uh, I've already covered a little bit of uh, how to get into the spirit world and how to survive and get yourself set up, so I'm not going to be covering that. Uh, but I am going to teleport back now that uh, I've shown off that little thing by uh, pinching myself with an icy needle. And I'm going to try again, as I may, to uh, get myself a good dream as I go into the spirit realm. That That's not a good sign. Maybe third time's a charm. There we go. Pink skies, everything's looking mighty pretty and bright, and all the mobs are burning and dying. Oh, such a good sight to see. All right, so uh, now that I'm in here, yes, third time was a charm, but um, now that I, I'm in my little spirit realm base, which, uh, you know, it, it, it will take people quite a while to get set up in here because you're going to have to start all over again, and you don't get the benefit of circle magic. Uh, that's right. Circle magic doesn't work in the spirit realm. That's what I've got this here, just to demonstrate that. Now, if I had that ritual already bestowed upon me, these little portals here would be teleporting me. But you can see that they are not working. Don't worry, I'm gonna get all. To, I'm gonna get to all this stuff. There, there's a reason I'm showing you that first. Uh, now, things in the spirit realm you're gonna need to prepare for this rite so that you can actually uh, get into the spirit or back into the overworld as a spirit. This is actually the portal here. Uh, is a, a brew. A flowing spirit. Allow me to uh, get one here. Brew of... And there we go. Brew of flowing spirit. Now the recipe for this is a little bit complex, but not as bad as some of the other things in order to uh, create the right as it is. But the only problem is you can only make the brew of flowing spirit in the spirit realm. <laughs> so you've got to have yourself some kind of setup. I recommend getting yourself an altar going with... Oop, 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 oops, I just... just kind of splash that a little too much there. Uh, I recommend you get yourself an altar going uh, with at least a, a, a like a skeleton skull and uh, just to start yourself off and pop, plop a few trees down nearby and you should be able to get yourself a couple thousand at least and, and that'll get you going. That's all you're really going to need to have for a minimum. Uh, you'll need yourself a cauldron, uh, at least a witch's oven. A spinning wheel is mandatory uh, as well. Now the reason for this is that uh, of course you're going to need the cauldron uh, so that you can make mutandus, of course. Uh, so break a bunch of uh, uh, grass as you go. And if you see any of the wispy cotton, which looks like this, if you're in having a good dream, like we are now with the pink skies, then go ahead and harvest that, and you should be able to keep it as wispy cotton instead of the uh, the tormented stuff. Now, um, once you put that in there with some string and some odor of purity, you'll make yourself fanciful thread odor of purity, of course, is received from hawthorn saplings. And hawthorn saplings, you'll need to get a little bit of the mutandus going. So if you need to light yourself up a cauldron in here, I recommend you get yourself uh, just a log because you can't go into the nether. If you go into the nether uh, in the spirit world, you'll be teleported uh, back into the overworld and um, the items that you had on you in the spirit world will uh, like be 
disappeared it'll clear out your inventory so don't don't e don't even try it it's it's bad uh but if you need to get a fire going under a witch's cauldron get a log not a, not a wood plank but a log and you can light that and it should light more than long enough for you to uh, toss in some recipe uh there you go then you start tossing in your stuff and, and you'll get yourself uh, whatever you need like mutandus and whatnot uh as well as the uh the kettle you just toss a log underneath and that should suffice uh so don't try doing other interdimensional travel in uh in the spirit realm it, it doesn't transfer too well but um Working that out, uh, there is kind of like, a, you know, you're going to need some of these different ingredients, your exhale of the horned one, breath of the goddess and stuff, so you can make yourself your mutandus and whatnot. Now, with the fanciful thread, of course, you're going to need that to make your brew of flowing spirit. Spanish moss, water artich or Spanish moss, uh, and glint weed you'll need uh, from the mutandus. Uh, mandrake root and water artichokes you can get from different seeds around the world. Uh, and then on top of that, you've got your wool of bat. And if you are in an extreme hills biome, which I highly recommend is where you should start your spirit base, uh, spirit world base, or even go to and... Uh, uh, you know, drink your potions and stuff there, uh, then you can create yourself an Arthana, which is going to be very beneficial for getting yourself Wool of Bat, as well as Mellifluous Hunger and stuff like that from different witchery mobs or uh, the, the drops that you want from witchery, witchery mobs. So uh, I recommend grabbing one of those and getting that set up. Now, uh, that being said, I, 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 I will remind you again that witchery circles don't, they don't work in, in the spirit realm. Just don't forget that part. Uh, and, of course, you'll want glass, you know, smelt up a whole bunch of uh, sand in order so you can make yourself glass bottles so that you can make the brew of flowing spirit. Why do you want to make a brew of flowing spirit? Well, allow me to demonstrate. Uh, if I break these here and I remake this, basically you just need to have um, a portal that looks like this. Uh, it doesn't have to have corners on it. I, I can eliminate those uh, without a problem. You can see there's no corners there. And then you take your brew of flowing spirit, which you have made in a kettle, of course, uh, is the recipe when you look at it in a kettle. So you will need a boiling kettle with some water in it, which the kettle requires an attuned stone to make, which, uh, of course, is made with a bucket of lava, a diamond, and a whiff of magic, and so on. So you can see that there's at least a minimal setup required for you to progress on this. Now you throw this in here, and then poof, you've got yourself your spirit portal, which is really cool. But as I showed before, it, it's not going to let you go through. So let's go back and perform the ritual in the overworld so that we can actually get through there. Now, I just pinched myself with an icy needle. Hello, Peaky. Yes, he's he's very upset with me right now. Uh, now, <laughs> there's a reason for that. Uh, this isn't the first time I've recorded this video. But um, <laughs> I forgot to hit uh, record the first time. But anyway, uh, we've got all the ingredients set up here. We have here. Uh, actually, let me go over the list and then in the book even. Uh, you'll need spectral dust, which if you have an Arthana and you're killing mobs, you'll get that from undead critters uh, normally. Mellifluous hunger. Hey, I showed you how to get that at the beginning by killing yourself a, uh, a one of those uh, nightmares in the uh, spirit world. Necromantic stone. Not easy to make. I'm not going to go over that today, but uh, you can make one of these yourself. That's probably the most difficult part of this. Uh, a golden pickaxe, an Arthana, and gunpowder, which you're not going to find gunpowder anywhere in the world. No, I'm kidding. Gunpowder is really easy. You just kill a creeper. But anyway, um, with that being said, you get all those items together. You plop them down in here with your, your circle uh, of seven by seven circle of... Um, uh, your otherware chalk and uh, of course your appropriate altar setup now this one here is is kind of a creative setup but uh, then you just kind of right click and you stay within the circle and it's going to use up all the items except for the arthana and the uh, necromantic stone it just borrows those for the ritual uh, and then here, i'll put those back down and then now i am infused uh, with that special right of manifestation the reason that i say that is because if you have a seer stone you can actually check your own witchery stats in case you forgot you just shift right click on the center of a circle and it says i can manifest for 150 seconds i also have a familiar called peaky and a really high bottling skill because i'm currently in my uh, bruise series which i highly recommend you check out if you haven't already uh, but um this a lot tells me that I am now manifested. Otherwise, it will say I cannot manifest. Uh, now, in this case, I can manifest for 150 seconds. If I have more uh, witches in my coven, I can gain like an extra, I think it's 25 seconds per witch in my coven, uh, therefore allowing me much more time in the overworld as a ghost. Now, that being said, and that being done, 
let's get a little drink here. And this is how you can actually see yourself or others uh, as a, uh, like, laying down in the world as well. Now, yep, there we go. It's a nightmare. I'm just going to run for it. Boom. There. <laughs> I didn't even need to bother with it. Now, when I come back from this world uh, into the spirit world, uh, hey, look, there's Valen Frostweaver. Oh, he's such a handsome guy. Look at that. Hey, I'm going to punch you in the face. Ugh. Oh, I just broke your bed. Whoops. Ah, anyway, you can still, you can punch the guy. Um, did I, did I break the bed for good? Yes, I did, because that was actually the, um, Oh, that that was a big mistake. I'm in creative, but uh, even if I'm not in creative, it doesn't matter. Uh, you, you can you can hurt your your body if you hurt yourself uh, enough. You'll wake yourself up. You'll come back to to the world, or if someone else does, even uh, you will uh, come back into the overworld. Now, I only have, like I said before, 150 seconds. I can interact with this world. I can grab some weapons. Let's grab an iron sword with unbreaking and looting on it. Let's go kill some baddies that are guarding my corpse. And the reason I would want to do that is because I am practically invincible. Now, allow me to show this off to you. I have, of course, 10 hearts in my heart meter here, and this is what's going to upset Peaky. He's gonna get very upset at this. Hello, buddy. I, I'm I'm just gonna, oh, you're you're outside. No, well, let's, let's go inside now. Oh, oh, oh boy, oh boy. He's, he's kicking my butt now. Come on in, come on, come on. Bring it, buddy. See, he can't kill me. Uh, <laughs> so, because I'm a ghost, he, he can hurt me down to half a heart but that's about it now here's the other thing uh let's say that i wanted to run away and uh and let's let's go into the nether uh oh didn't i mention against interdimensional travel well as a ghost you don't need to worry about it so much and that just said that i only have 60 seconds left so i have to hurry but uh therefore you can see i am still incorporeal i don't know if i showed you guys this or not before but uh there you go that's uh, i am ghost like uh, and therefore i can still fight mobs as I normally would uh, and not worry about them taking me down you see I, I'm still at a half heart not a problem not a problem now the the bad thing is is that let, let's say that I run out of time which I will shortly here uh, it's you know, I got to get back to the portal can I make it to the portal in time before I make it, it I don't have to but I don't want to there we go 15 seconds oh no can I make it oh phew okay so I made it. I've got my sword and my and my dog tongue and the icy needles. Of course, icy needles always transfer with you always, so you can switch yourself back if you want. Now, as my time expires, there it goes. I just lost my time. Uh, I now have still my icy needles, but you notice the rest of my stuff is gone. Now, would you go away? Go, go, go away. Oh, he just killed me out of the spirit world. And then I'm back in the overworld, and you notice I didn't actually take any uh, heart damage, you know, down here from hitting myself. All that does is wake you up. Uh, I, I should replace my bed in a minute here. But uh, what I'm going to do is show you what happens when you have items on you and you die. No, that, that grave is from a different death. Uh, but uh, if you expire as a ghost, your time runs out, you drop the items. The only items that you will keep on you is icy needles. So even if you go into the, uh, and it, that's another thing. If you go into the, uh, the nether, uh, portal as a ghost, when you expire, you will be at the equivalent point in the overworld's version of this, or in the spirit world's version of the overworld. Uh, so you could be very, very far away from your base underground or something. So keep that in mind. It, it can be a bit disconcerting or very bad. I don't know. It, it's entirely up to you. But uh, there you go. You you therefore could fight beasties and critters and things of that nature, or even uh, reclaim. Oh, hello. Uh, let's let's get rid of you. Hey, you're you're really a jerk for trying to kill me earlier. Of course, I I, I guess I tried to kill him first. But um, uh, you get the idea there that you can uh, become invincible. Uh, I think like some some effects won't even uh, like they'll like pass through you. You can see I'm I'm perfectly tangible now. Uh, I like the, the play on words here. For those that don't know, MNF, the creator of this mod, Witchery, has also created that mod, Intangible, that uh, you might be able to check out. I think that's for uh, uh, 189 only at this point, but we'll see if it goes forward. Anyway, um, that's a about it for this. I mean, there isn't too much more to be uh, said or had. Uh, you can't um, you cannot use the uh, nether portal to try and uh, uh, get yourself 
your stuff like through an ender chest and cheating it through uh you'd have to use some other mods in order to uh like get your your stuff from one dimension into the spirit world uh so good luck with that uh even even familiars won't uh transfer stuff to you in the other dimension in the spirit realm um and uh i i've tried a few other cheating methods as well like uh you'll notice that i've got like a little purple bar on the left there uh that's the uh spirit of uh or the the infusion of otherware so i can teleport places and if i uh, shift right click i can teleport back to my recall point well, that even works interdimensionally, except in the spirit world. So <laughs> not everything works as one might hope. But hey, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If so, please make sure to give a like. Uh, and uh, we'll see about getting some more witchery in the plans in the future. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Comment below if you have anything to say. And spread the mischief to others if you think they'll enjoy this content. Until next time, folks, I'll see you.